This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. Good morning, my friend! A happy little milk. thing I wanted to tell you is, see, the machine has become something that the kids like and remember, and they tell their parents that they want to come use the machine again because it's kind of like retro and different, and their parents will do their shopping here because the their kid has actually, uh, you know, convinced them that they want to come here. So if you sell the kid, you sell the parent. It's a beautiful system. Thanks to the vending machines, we've kind of combined both businesses and it's been going quite well. I can't complain. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm actually so happy today because it's really nice in Ontario right now. So that means better business days are ahead. Doing a collection day today, um, not only for our retail store, but our vending machine. Um, we've had quite a few vends the last couple of days, a lot more foot traffic because the weather's been nicer. Um, so that's always a positive and our sales are actually better too, we've noticed. Again, because of the weather. Hey. Doing nothing like usual. Try to be professional with you guys today, you know. Give you some good advice on starting your vending machine business and your retail business. Never be afraid to ask for your locations. I've gotten rejected four times. The fifth was a deal. So now I have three locations. I will show you them on another vlog. Today is a collection day from our main machine. Secondly, I'm doing a delivery for a retail store just to bump our total sales up. We'll do a collection on that for the day as well. Business is not easy, but it is manageable. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Tell us about how you built it. Well, Ray had the idea about... Oh, sorry, there we go. Okay, so Ray had the idea a long time ago. Like, <laughs> probably the second year of dating. He said he wanted to do this in his late 30s. But we're not close to late 30s. No, we're not even in our 30s yet. By the way, I hope you guys don't think these collection videos or whatever we may do on these on this channel is to brag or boast or anything. I'm just showing you the sales. That doesn't mean I'm taking any of that money home. Anything I take home, I put back into this business to grow the empire, the vending machine and the retail store. If I make money on the vending machines, I buy another machine and have another location. If I make money in the retail store, guess what? We buy more inventory to sell more. And eventually, you know, we profit by the end of the year, hopefully. So, it's all a building process. Collection days are not bragging days. So don't, please don't get those confused. Okay, total sales for right now. What time is it? 12.30? We are at... 2.40. 2.40. We've been over for two hours, so an average Friday. Some people were asking about our security systems. Yes. Um, we have a few cameras set up. Here's one I have to actually raise it. We have a couple by the cache, one by the back door, which I am installing today, and we have a, uh, you know, a security alarm and all that jazz connected to the, uh, you know, protection company. So yes, we are secured in that sense. We have to fill these coolers. We just got a big delivery. So, like I always say, when things are full, they will sell. Your vending machines are full, they attract people, people think it's fresh, there's more to choose from. Um, there's also something with a person that, you know, when we see something in abundance, there's like just something in the brain. I have not, I'm not trying to get into science or anything. That just tells us, all right, there's an abundance. I might need this amount, but if I see more, I need more of it because I might need more later. Does that make any sense? Maybe not. But anyways, let's fill up these bridges. These two babies, uh, they were a pretty decent investment. They are used. If you're gonna buy anything, equipment-wise, there's always used equipment. You can save that way. That's what Okay, 
Um, if you're seeing this, the youngest get put the new milk at the back, the new product at the back. People always reach for the back. But for you, you're getting fresh milk. But you just help me out. If you ever make it to the store, just take the one from the front so I don't have to drink it myself. Because I got four chocolate milks at my house that are three days overdue. Oh. Oh, you get down low, boy. Wow. Just drop some money on inventory. Invest in your business, it will invest in you. So, none of you have asked if I could do a quick unboxing of our new stuff. And I'm gonna do a very quick one just to show you the products that we spend our money on for our vending machines and for our store. Whew, nice shape. Do this quick here. S'mores vegan chocolate chip cookies, very popular. Greek yogurt um, vegan alternative. So it's, a, it's a vegan day. Um, we're trying to expand our vegan line. So we got Dandy's vegan marshmallows, very, very popular. Great profit margin on anything um, that's a little bit higher end because people expect to pay a little bit more for vegan items and um, kind of off the beat products that Walmart doesn't carry. I try to carry everything Walmart doesn't carry, but now they're starting to get smart and bringing things in because they know the profit margin is good and the vegan community is always growing. So, yeah, we have some ready made potato and leek soup. There, very good seller, very good seller, good profit margin, 40%. Keep building it, you'll get there. You're gonna get pissed off at certain points, and it's not for the faint of heart. I will tell you that by first hand perspective, business is not for the faint of heart. There is no easy business. Back to the unboxing. Oh, yeah, we got some. Uh, Alternative milk, soy night, so not. This business is not about finding what people want. This business is about keeping people happy. Okay? It's not about, you know, trying to squeeze every penny out of people. It's about keeping people happy. So, anyways, there's a ton of more products I can show you guys. That's just a sample. If you did like that, let me know in the comments section below. We get about 100. 150 boxes a week of new products if you like seeing new stuff and you know, maybe it interests you let me know in the comments below and I will keep doing a product spotlights as uh, one of my friends called it product spotlights We started off on a slow note today, um, but we did kind of catch up. It got quite a bit busier this afternoon, so that's a good sign. Now that school's out and March break is starting, people are coming in to get things for the weekend. Currently at 824, so there's still hope to pass the thousand mark, and I think we will. There's a lot of regulars that still haven't come in, which who normally do come in on Fridays, um, but not till about 5.30. So, there's still hope. All right, guys, here's the collection. Uh, it's about two and a half weeks. The following Monday would be three weeks, so about two and a half weeks. Uh, yeah, this, this is the only. These two are our main sellers up top. Well, our only sellers up top. What? Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. This is actually decent. Did you know we did this? Yes. It's busy. Okay. All right, these ones aren't as big of a seller. Skittles and Mike and Ike's don't sell as much here. It seems like the kids and the adults love peanut m and We'll try it. Okay, uh, very skimpy on the uh, candy section of this machine. But not too bad. I'm saying about 10, 11 bucks. How about you? I'm gonna say 14. Oh, you're getting specific. Comment below. You know the drill. We wanted to do this. Comment below. Tell us what you think, or how much you think is actually in here. We're obviously gonna count it and you'll find out. And if you're right, Felicia will give you a free pack of Mike and Ike. He 
so we just counted the money and we were both way off like really off but that's okay um so here we have it um so 5 10 15 Oh, sorry, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 50. So that's just in three weeks. What do you think? Nah, that's really good for three weeks. So this machine should do about 25 a month. This sole machine, 25 a month. But the value that it brings back to the store, because um, our little customers, not little people, like little kids, like the machine, they tell their parents to come back and the parents do their shopping here which left us a total for our store today at about 984. Not bad, um, but a little bit of a slower day, but we're still breaking even at that point. Anything over about 600 seems to be our break even point from what I can gather, so. All right, so those are the totals. The vending machine business did about 1750 in three weeks. We uh, collect this one quite often because it's still kind of fun and it's in our store so we might as well. The other ones that we do have on location, other locations, we'll have to collect once a month so we don't look, you know, look weird uh, going into the shops every week or something like we do here. Uh, the store did a total of $9.54, so not bad. Um, what we take home from that, you know. You have to what? It was $9.84. Oh, that's fine, $9.84. Sorry, really crunching numbers lately. She's trying to get profit margins, exact points. It's, so she prices things like 481 just to get 40% prof, uh, profit margin. Anyways, I digress. If you like this video guys, please hit that subscribe button and of course, hit that like button. It really supports this channel. We're trying to build it just like we're trying to build these other businesses. Take care of yourself and uh, start your vending machine business right now.